Hello again, this time I want to give you a quick guide on the quickest, easiest and cheapest exemption to legally buy realistic coloured airsoft guns. The term in the UK is often known as RIFs or Realistic Imitation Firearms, such as this. Legally this is a Realistic Imitation Firearm, whereas this is basically just a replica. Um, a sort of an unrestricted replica if you like, although you do need to be 18 to buy both of these. Anyone over 18 can freely walk into a shop and buy this. They might ask why you want it and you have to prove you're over 18. That's it. This you actually need a reason for. Not because of how dangerous or powerful they are, it's purely a colour thing. Under the VCR Act, I can't remember if it's 2005 or 2006, but basically part of the VCR Act states, and that's the Violent Crimes Reductions Act by the way, that replica guns such as airsoft and blank firers, but not air pistols, have to be, and that's because air pistols are considered firearms by the way, it, the, the gun has to be 50% a silly colour, that's just what I like to call it. I think the wording is the principal colour has to be 50% 50, 50 orange or something like that, like this, so this is a UK legal blank firing gun. Um, as it is in orange to distinguish it from a real firearm. Not that that would stop you painting a real firearm orange. Anyway, you can't just get a black airsoft gun without a good reason. So there are some exemptions, so I'll just quickly give you a few of them. The number one is you're an airsoft skirmisher. To get the exemption, you have to play airsoft and you have to play airsoft three times in two months to become a registered airsoft skirmisher. Doesn't cost any money to be registered, it's not a license or anything like that, but it's expensive. Usually when you go to play airsoft, if you're borrowing their guns, which you probably are if it's your first time, it's gonna cost you about between 60 and 80 pounds per game. That's lasting you a whole day though. Most of that money is actually paying for the equipment Usually to walk on and actually play with your own equipment, it's only about £15, so it's a big difference in price. Another reason is theoretical production, as in you're making movies or TV shows. So obviously if you're if you're watching the TV, uh, sometimes they'll involve firearms, and a lot of the time it's airsoft guns. Although to get this exemption, the, the manager of the production has to provide a handwritten letter. Needless to say, most of us aren't getting handwritten letters from TV and movie directors, so that's just not an option for the vast majority of us. I don't know if this would apply to YouTube or not. I would think that if you were making YouTube videos, that's technically production. You're, you're, you're making videos as entertainment. I don't see how it's any different. I don't know if that applies though. If you are part of a reenactment society or you're a historical reenactor, that's also a reason to be allowed airsoft guns and blank firing guns in the realistic colours. And one of the last reasons is you are a member of the armed forces acting out your crown duties. Not 100% sure what's meant by that, but I think it basically means if the military, say the British Army, are going to do a show, they obviously want to show you firearms. And believe it or not, they sometimes use airsoft. I've been to country shows here in Scotland where the British Army has been there to uh, to recruit people. It's kind of funny because they had the GPMG. That was a deactivated firearm. It was a real gun. But they also had the L85 and a Glock. Both of those were airsoft replicas. Not really sure why that is because obviously they've got no shortages of SA80s. Not so sure about Glocks. But either way, let's continue. I will say I'm not actually sure on the legality of painting them. I've believed my whole life that it's actually a criminal offence to paint an airsoft gun to realistic colours. I might be wrong, but I think you can get two years in prison for that. Some people will tell you that. Some people will say once you've bought it, it's fine. It only applies to sales. What I will say, though, is if you could legally own a black airsoft gun, I think you could legally sell or gift that airsoft gun to a friend. So for example, I could gift this to my brother, who 
doesn't have an exemption. Not that he's interested in airsoft anyway, but that's just an example. I think importing replicas into the UK that are black is also legal, but again, I'm not sure. I've never tried it and I don't really want to try it because I don't feel like spending £100 on a gas airsoft gun for Border Force to seize it and destroy it. On to the main point, and you might laugh at this, and you may also want to debate the legality of it, but I'll get to that shortly. Because to the best of my knowledge, this is a perfectly valid and legitimate way of obtaining realistic looking airsoft guns. Believe it or not, the method that I used is literally cosplay insurance. I'll give you a minute just to laugh at that, I find it funny as well. Scotsman762 has cosplay insurance. Scotsman seven six two does not give a f that just does not care about cosplay. Scotsman thinks cosplay is a little bit weird. <laughs> then again, I suppose maybe you could say a grown man with a collection of essentially toys is a bit weird, and even weirder, grown men running around with these toys shooting each other. Maybe I think cosplay is just a little bit weirder. Uh, 20, 20 something year olds dressing up in funny co anyway. Look, you do you. <laughs> I don't care. To be really honest, you do you. But the, the thing is called Just Cause. You, you might have heard of it, you might not. But uh, yeah, Just Cause is a cosplay insurance and that's really all as it takes. You don't have to have a license, you don't have to, you don't have to physically turn up anywhere, you don't have to do anything. You, you literally just go onto their website and fill out the form, which is only one page, it's not even a page, it's like half a page. Uh, submit a photo of yourself wearing a costume. That's all it says wearing a costume. Now before you freak out, don't worry, you don't have to dress up like Scooby-Doo or Spongebob or Super Mario or something like that. Just put on an army jacket. I'm serious, just... If you have an army jacket or... I mean, if you want to dress up like a character, more power to you. But just put on an army jacket and hold an airsoft gun and take a photo and send it to them. That's all it takes. That and 20 quid. You get the membership for a year and it insures you up to 10 million pounds or I don't really understand it to be really honest I'm not really sure what the purpose is but I think it's for people that do actual cosplay because some of them like to carry fake weapons and needless to say that can sometimes get get you in a bit of trouble even if it is legitimate but this actually allows you to buy realistic airsoft guns so what happens is like five minutes after you submit it I don't think they even manually check it for me, I got the code really quick. So what happens is you get a code sent to your email address. Um, don't share out that code. That's to you. Basically, treat it like I wouldn't say treat it like your bank number, but don't give it out to everybody. That's kind of abusing the system. That said, if you wanted to give it to your friend or your girlfriend, so they could maybe buy one, or so they could buy you one as a present, you know, that's that's fine. Um, I'll let my girlfriend uh, use my Just Cause number because she wanted to buy me a couple of airsoft guns uh, for my birthday and Christmas and uh, she got me one for Valentine's as well. But it works. I've bought four or five airsoft guns um, already and for you, for those of you who are screaming this is not a legal method, look, I only know of this because of Airsoft World. Airsoft World is one of the biggest airsoft retailers in the UK. I think it's just second or third to just BB guns. Airsoft World sent me an email after I um, paid to get a two-toning service for another gun that I bought from them. Now, a lot of Airsoft websites, they already sell Airsoft guns with funny colours. If not, if there's a gun in black that they have and you want, usually they'll charge you a set amount of money to get it painted. So from Airsoft World, if you wanted to get an Airsoft gun painted, it's an airsoft pistol even, it's £5 or for a long gun it's £10. Now if that's the case, which it is, I've, the, the, the thing's already paid for itself. £20 for a year. So I've got four pistols bought using this method now. Well that's 20 quid. So it's already paid for itself. So it's quite worth the money. Not only that, I mean, I could only imagine there's quite a few people that go skirmishing just so they can get the gun in black. I thought about it, but that would have cost nearly £200 to do it that way. And I didn't really want to go skirmishing. Much cheaper, easier and more effective way 
of legally obtaining brand new airsoft guns in the proper colour straight from the dealer. The funny thing is, being a collector isn't actually a reason to have them in black, but this strange cosplay thing is, I don't get it, I'll never understand UK law. I think you can sometimes get them in black if you're part of a home office approved gun club, which seems really extreme just to get what is again essentially a toy. But as I said, it works. And after that year's expired, it doesn't matter. E even if it's five years down the line, you could actually still keep your gun in black. That doesn't really run out. I mean, it's yours, you've paid for it. It's not, a lic it's not licensed, it's not registered. You could sell it to whoever you want. In fact, if you want, you could, you could buy one of these and give it to your child. That's also legal. And as I said, I think this works with blank firing guns, I'm not 100% sure. This is how I bought this years ago and I don't really feel like doing anything to change the colour, as, as fine as it is. Um, it kind of sticks out a little bit in the cabinet, but that's okay. I don't like to modify things. Anyway, I hope you found that interesting. Let me know. Um, if you've used Just Cause yourself, let me know. If you haven't, but now you're going to because of this video, I'd love to hear about it. Anyway, thanks for watching.